friends in this lecture we will see turn milling basically turn milling combines the milling rotary tool and turning rotary workpiece this functionality on a single machine so we can do this turning operation with the help of milling this will uh, create a complex machining operation but it is faster and with great accuracy right so here uh, few parameters are there which we need to discuss in this operation in rotary milling first this direction is the axial direction if you want to define the range so we need to define this axial range this one is axial for radial this one is ex uh, radial radial it means radius direction so here is a radius so if you will increase the radius that is radial direction and in some case you can also define radial as well as axial direction in a single part and one more thing automatic tool contact shift if you will enable it it will automatically adjust according to the part manually if you want to shift you have to enter the value and this will work like this you can see right so the tool will cut uniformly on the cylinder let's see with the example so you can see here I have a part here I'm going to define one new workpiece okay and for workpiece this is the part and this outer one is a blank okay now tool I'm going to use this tool click here and select this first operation turn milling for turn milling tool is already defined workpiece my workpiece is second one select this rough finish whatever you want just select or okay now here you can see axis of rotation axis of rotation is Z so keep this Z no problem if it is change if you want to change you can also change it now limit limit range axial and direct and radial so I'm not going to define this and tool context shift automatically I'm selecting and the step over is 50% of tool dia. depth is 1 geometry already defined part and blank both are already defined and everything is okay if you want to change you can change this jig to jig jack and now generate let's see say this one so this will come the tool will come tangential see tangential engagement so tool will tangentially engage with the blank okay here also while we are engaging this is the engage and let's see the result in 3d so click here and play in turning you can create only cylindrical part and IPW will also be a cylinder you cannot cut inside or any pocket it should be a cylindrical only cylindrical shape it will generate see this example right only this material will be removed because this will generate only a cylindrical part like the turning machine okay one more example this is a part now double click here the part is this one and blank blank I have already created by the geometry so you can see this is the blank geometry so I just want to cut inside this okay or you can use a bounding cylinder so just come to this and here again I am using one more blank say this 
right so if i want to use this one so how it will work i will use both blank and i will show you the result okay come to manufacturing for first case i am using this outer one remove this this is the blank okay if you want to hide you can hide this as well as this now need a tool so this is a tool so i'm going to use one tool click here this is a turn milling tool and work piece is this one rough and okay here if you want to define the limit so first if you will not define then z no z is not this it is x direction so in x direction the part will rotate and automatic shift 50% step over one is a depth right and generate right let's see this so this will be the result although i have used and mill tool if you will use bull nose tool so better result will come but here it is just working like a turning okay now for limit just okay it i need one more work piece under this mcs click this is the part and for blank i will use this one for blank part geometry so part geometry is this one okay and my blank is this one okay okay and come to this now click here select the parameters and okay now axis is x change to x for limit here i am going to define xl limit so my axis will start from this face and end limit is this one so in between this tool path will generate if you have any other limit so we can also use so for radial we will use another example just generate this automatic shifting only this portion will remove because here the tool cannot go it will collide here and here also it will not go because this will collide here and the same way on the this side let's see this only this middle portion it will remove same here right so hope you understand this thank you for watching have a nice day